Right, so I have put what is a traditional bag together, not necessarily my bag of choice, but right now, but I would be putting a putter, maybe three or four wedges in, my set of irons through to four iron, then I'm going with the sort of traditional five wood, three wood, and then up to my driver. And I'm gonna show you that I think a lot of them clubs are a waste of time being in my bag, and probably the same for you. There are two reasons why you don't use certain clubs in your bag. The first one being, you prefer one club over another. So a typical example for me, if I'm in between yards and I've got a choice between a six iron or a five iron, I'll always opt for the six iron because I simply just prefer it. And I bet you've got those type of clubs in your bag. But there's another reason as well, and that's based on the performance data led. And we're gonna show you why you've made the right decision to not use those clubs, but also why they don't need to be in your bag in the first place. I'm gonna play nine holes of golf and record every single shot we're going to see how many clubs i actually use in that nine holes and my guess is it won't be very many this video is very much an experiment that needs your input and what i want you to do is after watching this video i want you to recall your last round of golf and to each shot that you played and tell me how many clubs you used during that round of golf Right, so the first issue I have in the bag for my standard bag is I've got three wood and I've got five wood in the bag. That's a pretty natural setup that most golfers have. I'm playing my second shot in on a par five and straight away from a conference perspective, I want the five wood, it's got more loft on it. I've got a little bit more confidence of getting it airborne from the lie on the fairway. But take a look at this first of all, data collected inside this morning, which shows why it's a more beneficial club. Number of shots hit and straight away you start to see the ball gets from A to B in different ways in terms of carry distance due to its launch. The five wood launch is a lot higher, but interestingly enough, it also carries further. So straight away, the option of using a five wood over a three wood is more beneficial in yardage as well as confidence. So straight away, we've got one club that's coming out the bag and that's the three wood is without doubt redundant for most average golfers. So my guess is you use no more than 10 clubs. In fact, I reckon it'll be less than that. In fact, if you check some of your clubs, take a look at the club faces, I reckon some of them you've hardly ever used. And that's a telltale sign. Right, so next interesting point for me is the amount of wedges that everyone carries in their bag nowadays. I'll be honest with you, when I started playing golf, I had half a set, played it for many years with half a set, and I had a pitching wedge and a sand wedge, and that was it. And the way you play different yards is you film, you, you add a quarter, half, full swing. If you notice what we've done so far, we've had two wedges in, one was on the par five, we had just over 60 yards in, that one in was 86. We played the same 58 degree wedge. One was a full swing, one was a kind of half swing. And I don't need four wedges in the bag and I very much doubt you do either. In fact, I'd guess that most golfers, average golfers, would be better with maybe two wedges, but being able to play more shots with those two wedges. Even that ability to just open the club face up and provide a little bit more loft when required is a skill well worth having in the bag. So for me, at the moment, I've got pitching wedge, gap wedge, 54 and 58 that sits in the bag. I'm gonna get rid of the gap wedge and I'm gonna get rid of the 54 because I am confident neither are needed in my current setup. The question is, Han, can we get the birdie? The answer is no. It rolled quite well considering these have been hollow signed as well.
Oh, right on the tops of them. Ah. Ah. yardage I'm playing now is 206 uphill and we've got a four iron that plays around 190 195 with my best efforts we then jump up to five wood which is around 220 so neither of the club bridges that gap and this is where I'd be putting in a hybrid into that situation that allows me from the clubs that I've dropped out more importantly allows me that extra space so at this point I'd be putting in a three hybrid which would be perfect to bridge this gap We are, of course, creatures of habit, and automatically when we buy irons, we'll order four or five irons through to pitching wedge. That's just exactly what we do. Even though when we get custom fit, we're only able to try the seven iron in most occasions. And I really think and urge manufacturers start to allow us to use the longer irons in the bag, because that's where there's a significant difference. And without doubt, one club out that long end of the bag is coming out, and here's why. I said earlier we generally order four or five through to pitching wedge as a standard set. Virtually all the tests I've done over the last few years and I've tested irons is there's always a struggle to find a gap between a seven and a five iron. I don't generate enough club head speed often to get that gap in terms of yardage and I need a bigger gap. And what you'll see right now this morning is we did some testing in the bay here at Carden Park. I got average yardage for my six iron, which was around 180 yards carry. We then went up to five iron, 185 carry. And what that demonstrated was clearly that's not enough of a gap to justify putting that five iron in the bag. We then went to four iron and we crept over that 190. So for me, we've got a six iron at 180, we've got a four iron at 190. That's a justifiable difference, but it clearly shows that as an average golfer, I don't generate enough club head speed to see the difference with just that small gap in terms of the loft between the six and the five iron. And I need that extra strength of loft to sort of help me get that and bridge that distance to justify having that longer iron in the bag. unexpected uh, put to finish off the round. I don't know how many shots we went round in and I still don't know how many clubs we've used. My tally as I've gone round I think it's pretty much a lot less than 10 even but I hope it demonstrates that was just nine holes. Now obviously we've got another nine to go but we played par fives, we played par threes, we played par fours. We covered a fair few yardages. Now arguably we played whatever seven eight clubs and we put a couple more in there. We're still within that sort of 10 that I suggested which was reasonable. The point I'm making is this, all of us complain right now about the cost of golf clubs and rightly so. I'd argue that one way in which we can save money is that we don't need half as many in the bag in the first instance. I enjoy carrying my bag anyway, so I've always been sort of an advocate of that 10 club as a maximum. I don't like carrying a heavy bag round. But I think what we've tried to do is show that it's not just about how many clubs you've got in the bag, it's about making sure you've got the right clubs in the bag. The three wood for me is definitely a no-no for most golfers. Also pointed out there, we had some voids there, which allowed us to put that hybrid in on the par three that you've seen us play. So there's instances where the bag setup is really key and important. And all we must stop doing is copying what we necessarily see on the TV in terms of that whole putter, three wedges, full set of irons, five wood, three wood driver, and make sure that we get a setup that suits our game. That's the key message from this video. And don't forget what I wanted you to do in the beginning of this video was go now, recall your last round of golf and tell me how many clubs 
you actually used. And I'm still guessing it's less than 10. Right, I hope you enjoyed that one. As ever, thank you for watching. It's starting to go a little bit dark now. Time for us to pack in, I think. And uh, I'll see you all very, very soon.